breaking point quick test was released with 9.0 release of Ixia. So to log in and get started with quick test, we first have to put the chassis IP address at the, um, at the browser, uh, preferred browser that you use. So once you use the chassis IP address or the domain name as I'm using in this case, you'd be prompted with a login prompt. If you're logging for the first time, the default username and password would be admin and admin. And once we put the username and password, you log into the chassis. It shows that there is no new installed application. So you install this application, download the proper web application uh, framework file or WAF file from the uh, Ixia web app store. Once you have downloaded, uh, you just can point it to the browse and have a local file or you can give the URL location. So it starts uploading the package and then it would install. The whole process uh, should be over in about 15 minutes. So let's uh, quickly uh, transition the next 15 minutes. And there we go. We have the new quick test application already added. You can see this tab here with this breaking point quick test. And uh, let's click on it and get inside. Once you are in within the quick test, you would see the available suites. First and foremost work for us in this particular page is to go to the environment when you are running it for the first time and set up the environment of the test tool and the device in the middle so that we have we can have a working test. So you click on the environment on the top right corner. And once we click it, it would take us to this single pane of glass. You specify the client port, the test port at the client side. You, you can access the entire chassis. Blue means all these ports are available. And we click on a particular port that I want to be uh, configured as a client. And it immediately shifts to the server. And you click another port that we want to be configured as a, as a server. These are the test ports. And you have a device in the middle and you need to pro properly configure the gateways of those devices. So this is the client side of the gateway and similarly a server side of the gateway so that traffic can flow through. Similarly, at the client and server side, we have to specify the virtual router IPs. This will be the routers emulated by Ixia ports with the client IP and the server IPs of the clients and servers behind these virtual routers. So once we have done, you would see there is this interesting uh, tab called validate. It basically validates if the traffic is flowing through with, with, with the present configuration and if you have some issues like I have in this case where I have uh, reserved wrong ports, it would prompt me with some error messages and saying that, hey, the, the traffic between the client IPs uh, to the server IP is not flowing through. You don't have TCP connectivity, as you can see. And, uh, you know, once I uh, see this, it, I can change this on the fly here itself in this tab. And I select the right ports which were connected through through the duty and click on the validate button once more and hopefully this time we will get a, a green signal that would ensure that the uh, that kind of says that the client and server can communicate between each other and we have uh, tcp connectivity uh, so that we can proceed with the test so that's the green signal of the validation it got passed let's click on save and go back to the test suites and run some tests from there I am back at the test suites and we see all the available suites and some of the coming soon suites. So you can read through some of them like we have a performance, we have encryption performance, we have NetSec Open, we have security, DDoS, perimeter assessment. Uh, I click on the performance which is available right now. You see different types of graphic profiles, app makes business, social media, enterprise, HTTP, HTTPS. A user can select or deselect. In the configuration settings, I can set some guardrails. For example, if my network cannot do more than 100 meg, I might decide to lower it down. Uh, by default though, the test tool would find out what is the max performance you, you would get. So the, you, you don't necessarily need to change it if you don't uh, want to. And just say, uh, I will not save it in this time and just go back. For uh, To run a test, you just have to select the category that you want to run. For example, in this particular case, I will just select one of the categories uh, in the interest of time uh, and start the test. So we will try to run web clear text and web encrypted. And that's it, setting up the environment, selecting the suite, selecting the category if you really want to change some guardrails and you would now be able to generate traffic through the device and find out the max performance of the test. The quick test will ensure all these calibrations and recalibrations to find the max performance for each of the configurations available. I would like to thank you for listening.